Oh, now you're forget. You just look very short. But I, I always look short. Later. You also have toothpaste all over your face. Nice! <laughs>she has some questions for me <laughs> that I have no idea what they are so they're not bad though. a little bit mm -mm. terrified no 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 they're, they're all book related and there's nothing that's gonna embarrass you 17 questions okay so there's 17 ah. questions so without further ado are you doing it with me no you go let us get started wah because mom hates me not bad are you nervous to I don't know <laughs> like, your heart go? I don't know what you're asking I don't trust it's you. no it's one okay if you could change the ending of one book what would it be and how would you change it? You need to get... Uh-uh. Any book? Off the head. I Top of the head. So many books. I know. There's one that comes to my mind right away. God, you're not good at this. No, there's too much pressure. Heartless. Hi. Somebody dies and I am still so bitter about it because they were my angel baby unicorn and now they're gone from this world. Would you like to know what I thought you would have said? Yeah. Allegiance. Okay, yeah, but like, but we that are was so, so over that. That was so five years ago. That was the first one that came to my head, but I was like, I've said that so many times yes. that like, nobody cares. This one you shouldn't have to think hard about. Okay. What is the dumbest phrase in a book? Oh my God. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> The Creeping by Alexander Saroy. One of the lines was, wait a bloody tampon second. I don't even know the context of it, but I was literally sitting there like, this... Is this bitch for real? Like I who? Didn't, I didn't get who it. Who edited that book and was like, yes, that's a good line. <laughs> Keep that. I don't even understand it. the line. Like, how does that relate to waiting? Maybe it was like a bet and they were like, bet you can't get a bloody tampon into your book. And she was yeah, like, I just bet, watch, bitch. I, I bet you can't get that deleted. <laughs> what is your favorite time to read? Of the day mm -hmm. or like time period? Mm -hmm. Also, another good question. 3A. My favorite time of day. Morning. When you first get up? Yeah, because I don't want to move out of my bed. Duh. Which is like most of the time, <laughs> but that's usually when I have my coffee or like around four because I also have my coffee. That's then. also when you just get home from work. Yeah, so like mm -hmm. either when I just wake up or when I get home from so work. So it's like relaxing time. Time period? I don't know because I don't really like historical fiction. No, me either. Like I just don't care about all those facts. Like, Although I really like the Outlander. I like the Diviners though. That's like 1920s. I didn't like that book. The Diviners? Yeah. That's because you get scared. Time period would be, I guess, like present day. Because I don't like the past. Because I don't want, like, I don't care about those But you facts. also like futuristic stuff. Yeah. What's your favorite place to read? My bed. What book left you the most shook after reading it? Shooketh. Like emotional. Whatever. Whatever. Siren. Oh, yeah? Because, like, it was over and just, like, my oh. heart and there's never going to be another final trilogy book i mean there might be novellas my babies are gone like i'm just sad <laughs> that's because you finished the series yeah, not I, because of what happened it in took the me so long to read that book because i was just like i don't want it to be over. like i think vinyl had you shook as well Shooketh. how many books do, you do think, i own do you think you own <laughs> i probably have like over a thousand books. i think so too like i have a i have way too many but i'm never gonna count them and everybody's like do a bookshelf tour i'm like bitch but you, i have four bookshelves but you don't have any organization to your books no really. i mean it would like, literally it's just like be... cram them in too deep yeah like, like you... this is this is literally like three stacks deep how do you get out of a reading slump yeah i don't really get reading slumps that often it's more i just don't want to hold the book because I'm lazy. You need one of those things where you can lie on your back and it's like the, the plastic. But I don't want to hold put... it. So like if I can have like the book just lying there and I don't like, but then I okay, have to flip okay. the pages you, so I have to pick it you up. You need a hunky page turner. Yes. Somebody like when somebody's playing the piano or the organ that they have somebody who changes the book yeah. page for you. Because when I'm holding a book, like my one arm, only this arm, this arm doesn't, but this arm falls asleep. And like my hand will be tingling and it just pisses me off because then I'm just thinking about how my hand is tingling the whole time. <laughs> so like listen to audiobooks, that's what I do. I don't like ebooks because I'm like I wanna hold it, but then my arm falls asleep. Do you see my dilemma? What's the best way to pick your monthly TBR? Have your mother do it. <laughs> then if you hate the books, you can, you can blame, blame her. her. What is the absolutely worst book you've ever read? Check out any of my rant reviews. Text was really bad by Michelle mm. Chris. That one was just not good. Every time we go to the bookstore and it's still there, she like curses at it, going, That's my because book, nobody wants to read it. I always like donate the books that I give three or less stars to the thrift store. So every time I go to the thrift store, I just see my books and I'm like, mm, still here because it's shit. I'm like the unpopular opinion. Everybody loves that book and they're like, it was so good. And I'm like, were we reading the same story? If you could have coffee with one author, who would it be? Sophia. I knew that Elaine. you were going to say that. Hanson! 
I just think she's cool. So okay. you'd like to get to know her as a person yeah. too, right? Okay, just to make sure, what book series did she write? <laughs> the Vinyl Trilogy. <laughs> you should all read it. Why can you never not DFN a book? I'm like, I spent money on this. Even if it was like $2, I spent that $2. So many people can get into the first few pages, and I can do it too, going, mm, not for me, and I can put it down. Like, I'll give it a good try. I'll put it down and I'll go back no, at it. because like... But some of them I just can't. And you just, you stuff, you just... Get... I spent that money, and I invested however long it took me to get that far in that book. I am finishing it, and then I'm making a rant review. <laughs> uh, what's the biggest book you've ever read? Longest book? How many pages? Probably Dreams of God and Monsters. So I think that, that's that like series too. Yeah, they're, yeah. The, the last the Diviners book's is pretty big. Something. Diviners was only like 500. Um, Dreams of God and Monsters is like 600 and something. But I don't really read big books because they terrify me. It took me oh, almost a month to read Dreams of God and Monsters. Like City of Heavenly Fire is really big, but I haven't read that one yet. It's I've only read to City of Fallen Angels. Like, if you were a character in a book, what kind of book would it be? Oh my god, can I be rich? You could be whatever you want. And have lots of puppies. And live in a castle. You're and nothing of... bad happens. I was going to say you're sounding like Cruella de Vil. <laughs> I want to live somewhere really hot with a castle. And nothing bad ever happens there. On a How's pool. <laughs> And puppies. This is just my dream life. I want nothing bad to ever happen, so like, not a dystopian. What kind of a book would this be? Um, my fairy tale fantasy. I think it's a fairy tale. Leave me alone. You, I was going to say describe your character, but I think you did. When it's made into a movie, who would play you? Somebody really awkward. Ooh, you can't say. Elsa Fisher. <laughs> so awkward. But she's a redhead and I'm not, so. So I have to dye her hair purple. Food? I love food. Or sleep? That's not fair. I know. Uh, food. I barely sleep now, so... If you could change one thing about booktubing, what would it be? I would say, like, the mob mentality. If somebody doesn't agree with, like, the popular opinion, people, like, go after them, and it's like, everybody can have their opinion. Like, you yeah. don't have to yell at each other. If there's, like, an offensive thing to one person, somebody else might, like, really like the book, but then one of the big popular booktubers are like, that was offensive, and then everybody's like, ban the book, we can't read that so book. Carve the mark. Like, everybody yes. freaked out about that book, but a lot of the big booktubers to begin with were like, oh, this is a good book, and then one person mentioned some, like, racist mentality or something with it, and then everybody was like, oh, ban the book, nobody read the book, this is terrible, you can't read it, blah, 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 and it's like... Did you read the book? I didn't read it because I just never... Picked it it up. hasn't been on sale yet? Yeah, basically, yeah, it hasn't been at the thrift store. It's been at the thrift store one time, and I was standing there, and I'm like, I want to read this, but, like, I'm terrified to, like, if I like it and I say I like it, somebody's going to freak out But you me. never have to say every book that you read. No, I know, but it's just, like, do I want all the backlash that's going to come with it? That's the thing, like, I think that you should be able to say, like, I understand that is problematic, but I still enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And, like, people, like, if somebody says You were that, talking about still... a book the other day about... About it Ugly was, Love. But, yes. That like, Colleen Hoover is such a problematic author, but I still really like all of her stories. Like, I find them entertaining, and, like, I understand that they're problematic, and, like, I wouldn't wish the relationships on anybody, but they're still enjoyable. There's a lot of things that are, are trigger stuff, and, and everybody has the right to an opinion. You might not agree with the opinion, but you don't need to attack if the opinion is different from yours. You can agree to disagree. That's like, end them. What would you say... The future awkward bookworm. Because feed is awkward f bookworm. You're just gonna go, oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> so she was a lot. Read what you want, bitch. You do you. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> you were gonna say something along the lines of be yourself. Don't be the awkward bookworm you are meant to be. That's right. To not to not to change who you are for somebody else. Anyway. Rock don't ever change. Homie. <laughs> Homie G. <laughs> Who's your favorite? You <laughs> That's it. That was mom's Q and A. I suggest we're making this into a tag. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Good. Be awkward. <laughs>